Hey guys, and welcome back to the shop. Today we're gonna to look at part four of my YZ144 build. And today is one of those days because my real simple project has just gone off the rails and I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do. So let's take a look. All right, so today I've got my bottom end here getting ready to go back together. In fact, I've started putting it back together. I got really lucky and I found on eBay a really nice Boyson ignition cover, magnesium. For 40 bucks brand new and i was looking at my clutch cover i was like geez this really looks like crap now i haven't been able to find a voice in one of these for a reasonable cost so i said you know what i'll powder coat it you can see i've got my powder coating stuff ready to go uh, but in order to powder coat it you got to take it apart and when i started taking it apart a couple of the little needle bearings from this little needle bearing in here came out. I was like, oh, that's no good. I'm gonna have to get a new bearing. But the problem is I can't figure out how to get this thing apart. Let me put the camera on a tripod and I'll show you what I mean. All right, so with the arm off of there, basically, if I'm gonna powder coat this, this rod's gotta come out. And I already know that that bearing is bad because I've got two pieces it over there, of it over there. So the bearing has got to come out too. However, I can't figure out how to do this. Now, typically this kind of a bearing, you're gonna pull out with a blind bearing puller, but you can't get a blind bearing puller in there when the shaft is in there. And you know, I'm thinking maybe there's some magical position that you can line it up and it'll go through. It doesn't seem to be. I had the brilliant idea maybe configuring it this way, putting a nut and bolt in here and expanding it and just pushing that out right with the bad bearing. I may end up doing that. And I can't push the bearing in because this cover's got a helicoil here and that is in the way. So I really have, I think, two options. I am going to set this thing up this way and just give it a light tap with a hammer and see what happens. And if that doesn't work, I'm gonna build myself a little press and press it out this way. And then the question is gonna become, how the heck do you get the new one back in there? One step at a time. No, that is not working. All right, so that didn't work, but it did move the bearing a little bit, which tells me that that bearing is not really stuck in there. So let's see if we can make, use a bolt and a couple of nuts to push this out the top. And I think if I get it out, we can figure out how to get it back in. All right, so here we go for some redneck ingenuity. Didn't have a bolt the right length, so I cut this one down. I'll put a nut on it. Hopefully that's, well, I'm gonna stick a washer on there. Back this thing up a bit. And then, all right, so my theory is that by tightening this nut, a little bit at a time. I should be able to push that up through the case, right? Don't know that it's gonna work. And in worst case, I break this. Worst case, I gotta buy a whole new one. I don't wanna do that, but uh, let's give it a shot. See what happens. This has gotta be somewhat straight. Kind of hard to hold it straight. And so as you can see, I'm just having a problem holding that straight and it doesn't seem to be pushing the bearing out. 
let's get our little redneck hack out of here and take a look. Yeah, I, that is just not doing it. I think that's what I have to do. And that's just, maybe I need a bigger bolt. This is maddening. This same cover was used from 94 to 04, if I have my numbers right. 10 years, there's a lot of bikes that have replacement clutch covers on them. Somebody's gonna put a comment down and tell me the brilliant way to take this thing apart that I'm not missing that I am missing. <laughs> now I can't even speak. Let's keep at it. All right, All right. so the more I look at this, the more I think I've got to figure out a way to push it out from the top and into the case. That helicoil was in the way, so I cut the end of it off. And now I'm thinking, when I look at this, this notch is what's catching on the bearing and preventing the shaft from going through. So I'm going to try to put this carefully in my press and just see if I put a little bit of pressure on it, if I can start to push that bearing out. It's getting nuts, but let's see. Just see what happens. This is beyond annoying at this point. And there we go. Broke the case. So while that was actually working, put too much pressure on this and it snapped. So off to the scrap pile with this thing and now I gotta get another one. Well, I guess we're not going to be powder coating this. So here's the aftermath. Here's the bearing. And right, this is from me just driving it out. You can see it's missing a bunch of rollers. Some of them I probably knocked out as I was doing this. Uh, you know, the bearing only goes on from one side. Luckily, I saved the shaft because you can't get these. And if you take the bearing off the shaft, of course, with your case broken, This will go, this goes in and out pretty easily. So the question becomes, with a good case, how the heck do you put it back together? And I don't know the answer to that. You know, do you have to, do you have to have some kind of crazy bearing driver so that you can drive this in from the top? I don't know. And I haven't seen a lot of information. In fact, I haven't seen any information on the internet in terms of how to do this. So Chris does everything, but every once in a while, Chris screws something up just like everybody else. All right, so do me a favor. Somebody watching this video at some point is gonna know the secret of how you're supposed to get this stupid thing apart. I looked, Yamaha sells all the parts separately, so there's gotta be a way to do it. Obviously, I have no idea. Put a comment below and let me know. In the meantime, now I've got a pony up for probably an expensive Boyson replacement cover, if I can find one. And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to buy another Yamaha one. So no powder coating today. And uh, in part five, we'll be putting the rest of the bottom end back together. Thanks, guys. And uh, if you like my content, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe.